Hey guys, and welcome back to a podcast that will maybe change your life. I'm your most prominent host, Griffin Murphy, and today we have the same guest as last week. I apologize for that, but I needed to make it today, and he's the only person that can provide me with some good content. Welcome back, Jamie. Say hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Okay. Anyway, uh, it is a beautiful Thursday morning. Got my coffee. Jamie just got off work, and now we're doing a podcast. And Jamie just told me some good news. Go ahead and tell them. Oh, the Senate voted against uh, the FCC's vote on the repeal of net neutrality, so we keep in net neutrality, lads. It's We can, we can <laughs> still watch porn for free on the internet. Fantastic. <laughs> so glad I don't have to pay for that. Uh, yeah, I had a really, really weird dream last night. Yeah. I dreamt that, so I was still in this dorm building, but my brother Jack was my roommate. Wow. Like, and all of the room was still the same. He was sleeping, like, in your bed. But he, it was my brother, who I hate, by the way. <laughs> hate him. Oh. Hate my brother. He's an asshole. And, but that wasn't even, like, the worst part, is that this whole dorm building was, like, my house. And my whole family was living here. That's awful. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Oh my god. Hannah was here or no? No, Hannah wasn't here. Wow. It, I know. That is a nightmare. That is the worst part. <laughs> but it, everyone was here. And it was just like I was just sharing a room with my brother. Like it was no big deal. And then I don't really know why, but I ended up like beating the shit out of him. Oh. Like just wailing on him. Like there for some reason. I probably had a good reason. I don't really know what it was. But... It was really weird, and then I, like, I got, like, really frustrated with him or something, and then I opened up a drawer from nowhere, there's no drawer here, and I opened up a drawer, and I pulled out a case of Backwoods. Oh, man. But they weren't Backwoods, it just said Backwoods on the box, oh. but they were really, like, those glass blunts. Oh, that's weird. It was super weird, and half of it was weed, and half of it was tobacco. Did you smoke any? I, that's when I woke up. Oh, I've gotten high in my dreams before. It's like intense. It's yeah. Like really weird. Well, so then I all, but I found a jewel pod in there. Wow. So I like, I like in my dream, I'm like plugging in the pod and everything, and I like hit it, and I, that's when I woke up and I felt like head rushy, like the whole thing. And I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Wow. And just like what, and I, it was after you had left. It was like nine in the morning, and I woke up and I just like, like slowly like opened my eyes and I was like, "What the fuck?" What kind of a fucking dream was that? That's crazy. It was so weird. I, like, like, it was too realistic. Like, I could feel my fists, like, hitting my brother. And I was just like, this is just too, this is too real. Man, that syrup. That syrup. We took NyQuil last night, not because we're drug addicts, but because we needed to sleep. But. Yeah, I, I slept pretty good. I had a hard time waking up, though. Yeah, I'm really glad that I didn't have to wake up this morning. Waking up naturally is beautiful. I was so tired at work. I just, I felt like I did not perform well today. Yeah. Like, I, I like, I was already feeling, like, groggy and, like, run down. I checked the time. It was, like, 10. I was like, fuck me. <laughs> Tell them what your job is. I'm a custodian at the dorms we live in. <laughs> so I just power wash to come off the floors. And that's about it. That's lovely. I saw a thing on Twitter once, and it was a notice for U of O. I think it was somebody I know that tweeted, I don't remember who, but it was like a thing that said, um, it was in the boys' bathroom, and it was like, please stop oh, coming in the showers. I just can't handle it. Yeah. It's I've the, seen those from so many colleges. Oh it's my so god. It's I'm like, surprised that we don't have one of those. A nationwide crisis. <laughs> well, we had, what did we have? Epidemic. Oh, we had the, the genital herpes. Oh, we, we had a genital herpes outbreak. Was it was it here, though, or was it just, like, around Southern Oregon? No, it was on campus. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, like, 15 kids on campus got genital herpes. Wow. Yeah, I know. It was mostly in the village. The village is, like, the on-campus apartments. They're nicer than the dorms and stuff. But, like, 15 kids got fucking genital herpes. Oh, my God. That's so fucked up. I know. And it's like... Fuck the village kids. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiled bitches. 
Yeah, no, but it was, like, a real thing, and they, like, sent out warnings, and they're like, yeah, we'll make sure to do, like, an extra extra good job cleaning the toilets (laughs) so you don't, like, fucking sit down to take a shit, and all of a sudden you have genital herpes. I thought that I got genital herpes. Oh, God. Because I found, like, a bump in that area. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) And it went away. I was like, okay. Okay, cool. Also, (sighs) I don't have sex often. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. Yeah, as, I mean, as long as I know that Hannah's clean, I know that I'm clean. Because I'm a loyal man. I don't know, you've been, you've been seeing someone, haven't you? Shut up, don't even, don't fucking do this with me. <laughs> I haven't been seeing anyone, don't worry, baby. They're, they're right there, I'm looking at them right now. The red solo cup? No, your right hand. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's embarrassing. Just don't clog the pipes. Yeah, I won't. I don't, <laughs> never mind. Next conversation. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would you have? Because um, I thought about this a few days ago, and I just, I think it's curious. I think it's interesting what people answer. I have a top three, which is like invisibility, okay. flight, and mind reading. Mind reading because I'm a psychologist. I'm, You're not a psychologist. I'm training to I'm training to read minds right now. You're in school to be a psychologist. I'm, You're not a psychologist. I, I'm You've taken be, two psychology I'm classes. Practically a psychologist. You ain't shit. <laughs> if you were gonna pick one of those to be, to have though, what would you pick? Um, I'd say probably flight because then I wouldn't ever have to get a car. Oh, that would be nice. I mean, I would have to carry everything with me while I flew, <laughs> which is kind of shitty, but... Would it be like you can just, like, jump off the ground and fly, or is it like you flap your arms like a bird and no, fly, like, or like, like, like Superman? Superman logic, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I would just want to, like, s- just go smoke weed in the middle somewhere, and when the cops show up, I'll just, like, levitate ten feet off the ground and be like, <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> they shoot you out of the sky? <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. But, like, how fast would you be able to fly? Because, like, imagine if you can only fly at, like, 10 miles an hour. Like, it's going to take you four days to get home. I mean, 10 miles an hour is still, like, faster than walking. Well, yeah, but it's not even as close to driving or taking a plane like you usually do. No, not nearly as fast, but it'd still be pretty rad. What would your top speed be? Ideal top speed. 60? 80? 100? 100, yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty fun. I think I'd really like to have, um, you know, where you can like move shit with your mind. Oh, telekinesis. Telekinesis. I think that that's fucking awesome. I like. I think that's like that's just a lazy person superpower. Yeah. Like I'm sitting on the couch. And I'm like, oh man, you know what sounds really good? Some coke. Like, pop open the fridge with my mind and grab a coke. Like. How fucking cool would that be? And what a good party trick. Come on. I've always wondered, if you have telekinesis, can you, like, can you jerk off without using your hands? Oh, my God. Like, can you? Like, does that work? You just, but, like, you have to... Like, how would that feel? You have to use something, though. No, like, well... Oh, you mean, like... If you can grab a Coke with your mind, I'm guessing you can grab your dick with your mind. Oh, my God, and you're just, like, looking up and down... (laughs) <laughs> that would be so weird i never even thought about that you're fucking sick <laughs> why do you think about that come on i don't know um there's also pyrokinesis where you can just light fires with your mind that's pretty sick that'd be really just cool like light a bowl <laughs> yeah that'd be so fucking nice like, you, you just, if you're just like in a circle with a bunch of people just, and you just you just light everybody's blunts oh that would be crazy That'd be so nice. Um, another, okay, another random thing that I thought about a few days ago. Um, I was thinking back to, I must have, like, I honestly was probably in, like, fourth grade. But my dad was watching an X-Men movie. Yeah. I don't remember which one, but it's about, like, the senator's son who has mutant powers, or he's some... Oh, he has wings. Yeah. That's the third one. The third one. Okay, yeah. So he was watching the third X-Men movie. And it's, like, the part where the kid's in the bathroom trying to, like, grate off his wings with, like, a fucking cheese grater. 
No, it was like a file, wasn't it? It was. He used like a bunch of shit. Yeah, that was that freaked me out a little too. That, that was scary. I like. I literally have such a vivid memory. I was sitting in my kitchen, and the way that my house is, I have a kitchen and like a nook, mm-hmm. sort of thing, and then it's like my family room where the TV is, and I was fucking doing like online, like math problems or something. Yeah. And I, like, look over, and I'm, like, watching this, and I'm just, like, getting mentally scarred for life of, like, this kid in a bathroom, like, trying to, like, grinding his skin off of his back to try and get rid of these wings. Yeah. And, like, the dad comes in, and there's, like, blood everywhere, and it's just, like, like, I I just thought about it a few days ago, and I was, like, I'm still fucking scarred from that. Like, has, has a movie ever scarred you as a child? Like, is there one movie where you're, like, I can never fucking watch that without thinking about this? I feel like there were a lot of movies, but I dove kind of balls deep into horror in, like, middle oh, and true. high school, so I kind of, I rewatched any movie that, like, scared me, and, like, I just, I'm so desensitized now. You had an appreciation for so it like instead. I, yeah, I really don't have any trauma now. Lucky you. I mean, if I really, I think there are some that I think about, but that's, that's nothing really serious. See, but, like, I like I watched The Godfather when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? But, like, that didn't scar me at all. And, like, that's, like, literally you watch people get shot. Like, like watching someone get shot isn't that bad. It's like, you watch people get shot in yeah. Star Wars. It's yeah. It's a family movie. <laughs> no, but that's... But, like, this is, like, you watch somebody get shot in the back of the head, and then the windshield gets splattered with their blood and stuff. Like, that's, like, as graphic as you can possibly be, and, like, that left no effect on me at all. But this fucking X-Men movie, like... Has scarred me for life. Like I can't look at a cheese like, grater without being like, "Oh my god, gosh, it's bad." It freaked me. Th- like I literally had nightmares for months. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I should sue them. <laughs> sue my dad for watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Has anything scarred you as a child? Do you have like a memory of like the worst day of your life? The worst day of my life. Um. I don't know, because, like, I feel like every couple of months I, like, define a day as, like, the worst day of my life. <laughs> There's a new one every other week. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, any, like, do you have any memory that you're just, like, you just, like, can't get past? There's just so much. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull one thing out and, like, be yeah. like, this is the one thing. I know. I didn't... Just, I guess... Being bullied, I guess. Okay, but, like... Okay, I guess that works, then, yeah. Of, like, just not being able to get past that. Yeah, I still have... I don't know. I still, like, consider myself, like, overweight and fat, and, like... Oh, yeah. I feel like I may not be, but I just can't get past it. Yeah, I got bullied a lot in elementary school, but, like, I didn't know it. Like, I didn't know I was getting bullied. Yeah, I know I know exactly what you mean. Like, <laughs> I think about it now, I'm like, wow, those kids were fucking assholes. Seriously. Shout out to my elementary school bully, Jacob Maddox. Hope you're listening. Shout out to my entire elementary school. <laughs> Dude, yeah, but, like, I used to just, like, get picked on and, like, not think anything of it. But I was, like, I was a really pick onable child in elementary school. Like, I brought yo-yos to school because I thought I was fucking cool. Yeah, that was me too. I would just do, like, really dumb... Or, like, not dumb shit, just, like, not conform to what everyone else is doing. Like, do something yeah. else. And I'm like, huh, why does anyone like me? Yeah. <laughs> I, but, like, I had a lot of friends in elementary school too. Like, I had a lot of people that I hung out with, like, every day. I thought I did, and I, like, we went, I, we all went to high school and none of them hang out with me anymore. That's like, true. All the friends I made in high school came from different elementary schools. Like, I didn't... I barely stuck with anyone from my elementary school. I'm trying to think of, like, my core high school group of friends. I don't think I went to elementary school with any of them. I went to middle school with quite a few of them, though. But we had two middle schools in Sherwood. Wow. So half the kids from... they just We all merged, and then I met a bunch of new people. But there was a lot of shitty people from the other elementary school, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I don't know. It was... It was fine. What was your high school experience like? Oh. Like, where did, where did you... What cliche do you fall into? Um, I was emo. Really? For, like, 10th and 11th grade. 
And the, like real emo or like? Well, I was cutting myself. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they mostly faded away, but. Yeah. So um, you were real emo. Yeah, I mean. Like we're not just talking about like wearing black to school every day and having a shitty haircut. Oh, I had a really shitty haircut. We all had shitty haircuts. No, I had, like, the comb over. That's like the, Oh, really? It was so bad. I had a Justin Bieber haircut for a while, and I had a stubble. Wow. Yeah, it was ugly. And I, I think I buzz cut my hair for a while and had just a fucking chin strap beard. Dude, I had a buzz so cut. So douchey. <laughs> literally all of elementary school to middle school. Me fucking too. Until I got to my emo phase and started growing out my hair. <laughs> My dad used to make me get my hair cut and a buzz cut, and I used to, every day, or every time that I would go, we had, like, this family barber who, I think she's some, she's literally just some Vietnamese lady wow. that my dad went to one time, and then that's where I went my whole childhood. Oh my goodness. Which was really weird, and she was, she was really nice and stuff, but, like, completely broken English, no idea what she said, because I was fucking, like, 10 years old, like, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know how that worked yet. And I, we'd literally go, and my dad would be like, buzz cut. She'd be like, okay. I mean, that was the whole conversation. The problem for me was that I never knew any other haircut, and I feel like I still don't. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a haircut now. You're just, you just let your hair go. I just have bangs. Yeah. I just trim my bangs. <laughs> I have a memory of, like, getting ready for, like, my basketball team pictures. Mm-hmm. And my dad making me leave, like, a half hour before making me go get my hair rebuzzed so I looked good for the pictures. Oh, my God. And I was like, no, I don't want to. Like, I want to grow it out. And he's like, sucks. And he just drove me there and he made me get it cut. That's so... And I was so fucking mad. I was, like, I was, like, in the team photos, like, not smiling at all. And I just, like, I didn't talk to him the rest of the day. I was so mad. Because I thought I looked so fucking ugly. I know. Like, I hated... Because, you know, you tried to experiment with, like different looks and stuff when you're young your parents will just like give you a lot of shit for it like i had a unibrow and i still do but i shave it as much as i fucking can and the first time i shaved it my dad got so mad at me now that i look back i'm like well why the fuck did you want me to have a unibrow fuck you i know my parent or my mom i don't know i think my dad is like really neutral on my hair he doesn't care that much but my mom <coughs> oops she hates my long hair fucking hates it every time i go home she's like will you please go get your hair cut and I, I just no no i won't like it this is yeah this is my style i wear a hat and i have long hair every day <laughs> literally every time i go home to my mom's like are you sure you don't just want to get trimmed a little you don't want to get like cleaned up or something I'm like no no i'm off. good <laughs> i la- <laughs> am an adult i can make my own decisions the last time i got a cut I, like, I showed Hannah, and she literally, like, looked at me for, like, a minute and didn't say anything, and she's like, it looks good. Oh and I was like, no! <laughs> you hate it! She's like, I don't, I don't hate it. <laughs> I was like, okay, so this, I'm just gonna wear a hat the rest of my life then, because obviously this isn't gonna work for anybody. <laughs> I don't know Hannah that well, but the <laughs> fact that she, like, broke it to you that way, it's so funny, because she's so blunt to you. <laughs> She's so, she's so honest with me. If she, like, like, she, she literally lately has been like, don't wear your hat forward, it looks ugly. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Sure, I guess we'll stop doing that. God damn. <laughs> and then, like, I, like, we went on a hike the last time I saw her. And I, like, wore my hat forward, because that's, like, hiking attire. She's like, turn your damn hat around. You look ridiculous. I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> Yeah, she's it's... ruthless. She doesn't hold back at all. Which is really nice sometimes. Yeah, I mean, better to be honest. Why not? Yeah, I don't want her to just think I'm ugly. She is on... She, but, like, I have asked her before. I was like, what would you do if I shaved my beard? <laughs> she's honestly, like... She's like, I'll break up with you. Wow. Like, that's what... That's what pulls this whole face thing together, is this giant fucking beard. It really does. It really does. And, like, if I shaved it... She wouldn't talk to me until it came back. Like, it would be, like, a good three weeks of, like, she has my number blocked, Twitter blocked, wow. Instagram blocked, Snapchat blocked. Like, wow. she would not be okay with that at all. Which, like, I understand. Like, you don't want your boyfriend to be ugly, obviously. I think, I 
feel like there's a lot of people who's like 50% of their personality is just having a beard. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. It it makes or breaks a look, honestly. Having a beard lets me do things like have a ton of chest hair as well because people just assume that I'm hairy and I am. Yeah. Like my chest hair is like 4 inches long. It sets up expectations. Yeah. <laughs> But then people meet me and I'm like, I'm, I'm a fucking softy. I'm a teddy bear. Like, I, I never actually like hurt anybody. Like, it's just my words. Like, but like physically, like I've never even gotten in a fight with anybody. Yeah, I know. But like, I look like a goddamn lumberjack, but it's like completely, I'm, my personality is opposite of what I look like. I feel like I look like maybe not intimidating, but like maybe not approachable either. I don't know. I feel like the beard can throw people off. You have a good height, too, because you're not too tall and, like, scary. If I was, like, 6'5 and had a beard and was this fucking hairy, oh I'd be goodness. a scary dude. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just, like, had to duck down in between doorways? Oh, my goodness. That would be insane. I really... Sometimes I really want to be tall like that. Just because I think that's, like, such a defining factor. Like, people who are really tall like that, I think it's really cool. Which is such a stupid thing to say. Like, oh man, tool, call, <laughs> tall people are cool. Like, I wouldn't say who it's fucking cool, cares? But, like, the advantages they have. Well, I'm tall, so like being able to reach stuff is cool. Yeah, but you, you're not like that much taller than I am. You're like six feet tall. I'm like 5'11". <laughs> to women, <laughs> it's like a foot apart. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen memes like that. It's like five limbs, some short dudes, like six foot, some really tall guy. It's fucking Shaq. Yeah. Five eleven's Kevin Hart. <laughs> six foot is Shaq. That's how. That's really how it be. Yeah. Hannah gave me shit last weekend for being five eleven. She's like, God, I just really want a tall skater boy, and I was like, I'm, I can be a tall skater boy. She's like, You're five eleven. You're not tall. I was like, Oh. <laughs> That's so mean. Have you ever seen a skater boy? They're usually not tall because they don't have any fucking balance on a skateboard. That's true. That's why I don't skateboard. It's just ridiculous. Oh, that's why you don't skateboard. Right. I tried. I literally tried to train myself. Like, I spent so many days in the summer just trying to get on that board and get balance. It's just impossible for me. (laughs) I just picture you, like... (laughs) I picture you, like, a really dim room you're like staring at a skateboard and you're like we're gonna fucking do this today <laughs> and you like take it outside and you get on and you just immediately fall over and you're like god damn it not today tomorrow <laughs> i was really good at using a rip stick though which is really weird oh my but... god okay so last weekend when hannah and i were in eugene we went to a toys r us and because toys r us is closing down they had like is like a 30 percent off everything sale like everything has to go Whatever doesn't go, like, we just have to get rid of. Yeah. And so, there was, like, nobody in there. This It's, like, this Toys R Us is, like, behind grocery stores. Wow. Like, completely out of view from everything. And so, like, we go in and there's nobody there. There's only, like, ten employees in the whole store. Mm-hmm. And they're all at the cash registers. Wow. <laughs> and so, we, like, are, like, walking past, like, the bikes and stuff and they have, like, rip sticks out. And so, I was, like, yo, I bet I can still do this. Nice. And she's, she, Hannah has no faith in me at all. And I fucking got on it, and I'm like, okay. I'm, like, holding on to, like, the shelves and everything, like, walking myself down, trying to remember how to do it. And then I, like, I accidentally, like, let go of the shelf, and I just had to go for it. Yeah. Dude, and it was way harder than I remembered. But once I, like, got that rhythm back, I was like, this is fucking sick. It's this is so the coolest fun. way to get it, around. It honestly feels like a hoverboard. It is so fucking cool. Like, I had a friend who had a really long hill. It wasn't steep, it was just long. Mm-hmm. I went down my on it on my ripstick. And, like, I turned, so, like, I was kind of, like, diagonal on the board going out. It just felt so sick. It was, like, hoverboarding It's fucking down. awesome. And so I rode around, like, the bicycle area on this ripstick, and there's nobody in the store to tell me to get off. Like, I'm not going to hit anybody. Yeah. And, I don't know, it was really fun. It made me really want one. But I was like, I'm not about to drop, like, 35 bucks on a ripstick for one that I, like, I can't even ride it here. The roads are shitty. The sidewalks are shitty. Like, I mean, yeah. it's shitty. Like, this is a bike town, no doubt. This town? Yeah. There are no, there are literally no bike lanes around here. Yeah, that's I, true. I did my psych project about, like, studying um, this town's, like, health impacts and built environment. There's, like, no bike lanes. Really? There's, like, one or two around, like, Kit Carson Park. Oh, okay. And that's about it. Yeah. No, that's true. 
but yeah. Uh, but Eugene last weekend, you should go to Eugene. Like you really should. Like I know I told you that already, but you should really go to Eugene. How much farther is Eugene from Lake Medford? I uh, I want to say it's like two hours apart. I don't know. But like you can just take the train from here to Eugene. I don't. I really don't want to take the train ever again. <laughs> it's all. It's literally only like four hours. Like it's not bad. And you honestly, like I could picture you living in Eugene. I, like it's such a U town. Like everything just like fucking screams Jamie. Like what? Every like, <clears throat> like even the roads, the roads are like they have like the tree canopies, oh. almost all of them, and like the houses are really old. Wow. But like, some of them aren't super shitty, but some of them are super shitty, and it's just like this is just like I could just picture you living here. I can. See and there's people smoking blunts everywhere all the time. Wow, I can see myself living in Portland. Portland's like that, except it's like not as chill. <sighs> But there's a lot of good cities in Oregon. I just chose Klamath Falls. <laughs> it sucks. I've been I've been around most of Oregon, and this is by far the worst place I've ever been. Like, there's nowhere that I've been that can compare to Klamath Falls, and it's like, like Klamath Falls like isn't even that small compared to a lot of other places in Oregon. Like, there's a decent amount of people that live here there's a whole fucking college yeah but like it's just so shitty yeah i don't really get it but i feel like a lot of it's just like community influence because because it's a meth town <laughs> yeah or just yeah <laughs> the community votes a lot on what happens in the county that's true i don't know it's just i feel like there's never anything to do here yeah. like even if you like if you like i know that you take the bus into town yeah. And, like, even when you do that, though, like, you spend most of the time walking around. Yeah. And yeah. then you, like, end up at a fucking Goodwill. Like, that's, that's what, like, that's all there is. Like, there's no goal here. Yeah, I definitely just, a lot of what I do when I go, I was just, like, looking around and exploring. Yeah. Which, like, is fine if you're, like, a really outdoorsy person. Like, Aiden, Aiden's our RA and also my homie. But, like... <laughs> Just to clarify. Just to clarify, I don't want him to listen and be like, oh, I'm just a RA and just, like, go cry on his couch. No, Aiden's my friend, but Aiden, like, <laughs> loves being outside, and, like, he, like, went, he bought, like, a mountain bike. Oh, I saw that bike. It's it, it looks really cool, and, like, he goes out, like, all the time now, and he just, like, rides around through, like, the forest and shit, and I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Like, you're designed to live here. I am not designed to live here, because I grew up in literal white suburbia, and, like, my definition of, like, going out was, like, going to, like, the animal, like, uh, what do you call it? The zoo? No, 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 <laughs> like, the animal, oh, uh, like, the, there's, like, a refuge, a wildlife preserve refuge oh. place that they have, like, a one-mile hike through. And I was like, that's enough outdoors for today. Like, that's my definition of outdoorsy. And, like, Aiden literally goes on, like, overnight hikes. Like, he's built to live here. Yeah. I am not. <laughs> I come from L.A. It's like... Not any of this. <laughs> yeah, it's complete opposite. I mean, I adjusted pretty well. I don't get homesick that much, if at any at all. Yeah. But climate falls. I just wish there was more to do. And I mean, I literally have a wall of ticket stubs from the movie theater, because that's like the most I can do. Yeah. And I also just love going to the movies. I have a shit ton of tickets on that wall. <laughs> Yeah, you really do. And I'm gonna go see Deadpool 2 tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you miss anything about L.A.? Just the food. <laughs> Just the food? The food, um... There's, like, a lot more venues for, like, shows and stuff. The college is the venue for this town. Yeah, and I... That really annoys me, it's, too. It gets Like... Like, how much the school rents out itself to, like, the community. I'm like, that. I, that's fine, I guess, but, like... Sometimes it, like, puts students at, like, a disadvantage. Yeah, and we pay to be here all year. Like, that time they hosted a big thing, in, like, in the dining hall. Mm -hmm. And they, they, like, kicked all the students out and were like, oh, we're just gonna do, like, burgers in the fucking patio or, like, in the yeah. in this quad. And they fucking ran out and they didn't even have any vegan options, so I was fucked. Yeah, that was stupid. It was really shitty. It's just, it feels so weird, like, sitting at dinner and then, like, 
a hundred old people walk through the cafeteria to go to the fucking town meeting. Yeah. Like, do it somewhere else. Like, there's, there's a fucking courthouse downtown. Like, go there. Like, I don't understand why you want to... Like, the school is on the outside of the town. Like, it's the first thing that you see coming into town. Yeah. Like, I don't know why this is the place to be. It's so dumb. I hate it. I mean, and there's also KCC. Yeah, there's another college here. KCC is actually looks pretty damn nice. They just redid it. The outside's all new. It's did it you, looks like um it looks like Portland. Did you know that this hasn't always been the OIT campus? On the other side of the mountain, that's where the old school is. There's still buildings there. Really? Are yeah. they abandoned buildings? Yeah. You want to go explore? I really I want to go sometime. How far is it? I gotta ask my friends because they drove like the road that takes you there. It's not that far. It's like maybe half an hour. Huh. I or might be down the, to go do that. Yeah, I really want to go sometime and smoke that in there. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> this, our school right now is like an old military base. And they, the, the school or maybe the military just donated it, but that's how we got our campus here. Oh. That explains why we have fucking fighter jets flying over our fucking college all day. Dude, I know. It's so fucking annoying. Sometimes. They fly really low. Yeah. Like, you can make out details on the planes. I can, yeah, I can take photos and videos of the plane and my friend like, be able to identify, like, exactly what plane it is, because there's so much detail. Sometimes they fly so low that, like, if you're in a classroom, like, the windows shake. Like, that's how low they fly sometimes. It's, like, it's unbelievable. And, like, when they fly past the dorms, it's so fucking loud. So fucking loud. I hate it. It's, that's one of the most annoying things about here. It's like, if I'm, like, FaceTiming Hannah and a plane flies over, I have to wait. Because, <laughs> like, it's just too loud. Like, there's nothing that I can do about it. I saw, like, a commercial airplane fly over the school the other day. Really? So I think they reopened the airport they have here. Really? Possibly. It was a really, really small airport. Yeah, Kingsley Field, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I, when I was looking to come here, my mom was, like, looking at the airport and stuff. And she was looking at tickets. It's like, how much do you think a flight from Klamath to Portland costs out of that airport? Um, probably like 200 bucks. It was $700. $700? Because it was like, there's like four fucking planes. That's so fucked up though. I know. Like flying from Medford to LA was like 400 round trip. Yeah, that's bullshit. Like just going within state. Like holy shit. Yeah, like 700 bucks. It was unbelievable, because we were like, oh, maybe, like, that's how I'll, like, get home, is I'll take the plane, because it should be only be, like, 75 bucks. Yeah. $700. So fucked. I know. <laughs> it's like, who the fuck is no using this airport? Way. Who the fuck uses that airport? But can like, you imagine just, like, being one of the people at Bison, just having no one on that plane, and you could just fuck around on that plane? That would be awesome. I really wish I had my own private jet. Dude, I know. Just to, like, I feel like that's, like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, like a like a cool one like that though. I feel like that's like a really un unattainable life dream, or like life goal. I mean that like a lot of people have. Yeah. Just because it's like flying on a commercial airline is shitty. Yeah. Like how cool would it be to just have the plane to yourself? Mm -hmm. You know. I feel like a lot of people want that, and none of us will be able to get it, <laughs> unless this podcast blows up. Become a patron. It's a dollar. Thank you. We will invent flying cars. <laughs> <laughs> if you donate to the podcast, Jamie and I will start working on flying cars. We'll get right on it. We'll get right on it. <laughs> that would be really cool, too, actually. But, like, who's going to be able to afford that? A flying car. Yeah. I feel like, because you obviously have to use fucking jet fuel. Maybe not. How else is it going to fly? It depends on, like... The kind of, um... Hover technology. Yeah, the kind of technology you're using. The kind of thrust you're gonna be experiencing. Yeah, I don't know. I think that that'll probably happen before we die. Because we'll run out of gas and there'll have to be a different kind of option for people besides electric cars. So I think somebody will probably make a flying car. It annoys me that the only reason we don't use renewable energy is because coal companies lobby the Congress to not shut down. Or, yeah. like, not go for renewable energy i saw a thing on twitter and then and like gas prices are supposed to get up to like over four dollars this summer catch me riding my fucking bike 
That's unbelievable. Four dollars. It's gonna be like sixty dollars to fill up my fucking car. I know. That's that's sh- sh- that's so shitty. Even in Eugene, Eugene gas prices were like three twenty five. Wow. And here they're like two eighty five. Yeah, it's so cheap. It's yeah. cheap as shit here, and yet I still haven't bought gas <laughs> in fucking three weeks. <laughs> Why? Because I don't go anywhere. That's true. Like I go to Dutch, which is like not even point one miles away from the school, and it takes me two two minutes to drive there. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit of fast food like right there. <laughs> they plan that pretty good. There's a McDonald's, a Burger King, a Taco Time, and a Dutch. And the Applebee's. And Applebee's. And the pizza place. Two pizza places. Oh, yeah, there's an Abby's Pizza and a Papa Murphy's. Chef Lou's. Oh, yeah, the Chinese place. Oh, that sounds good. You want to go get some? Sure. Okay, thanks for buying. (laughs) No, yeah, they did a good, they did a good job of placement here, but it's still shitty. They did a good job in the sense that they're going to make profit off of us, but not in the sense that it's the only food options we have that are close to the school if we don't want to eat on campus. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I think we'll wrap it up right about here. Thank you for listening. If you listened all the way through, I really appreciate it. Uh, If you don't hate me, become a patron. That would be great. Uh, Check out my YouTube channel. Uh, link in description below. I don't know. We'll do that. Okay. Check out mine and Hannah YouTube, ch- mine, Hannah and I's YouTube channel. Sorry. That will also be linked in the description below. Any last words? Uh, I, I don't have a YouTube, so no. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks Bye. for listening. <laughs>